Ohio voters are only allowed to use ballot drop boxes to return their own ballots. That is the decision handed down by the Ohio Supreme Court this week. It's a response to a legal challenge from Democrats. 13 Action News reporter Josh Group is live with us this afternoon with reaction to that ruling. Josh. Yeah, Tony, in August, Secretary of State Frank LaRose issued a directive prohibiting anybody from returning an absentee ballot in Ohio on behalf of a family member or somebody with disabilities. He said they can still help return those absentee ballots, but they have to do so in person at a county's board of elections. Now, LaRose said this is an effort to prevent ballot harvesting, but Democrats sued, arguing this order makes it harder for people with disabilities to vote. The Supreme Court's conservative majority ruled in favor of Secretary LaRose, arguing they shouldn't intervene because early voting's already underway. The executive director of the League of Women Voters of Ohio told us she disagrees with LaRose's order because it restricts access to drop boxes. We're incredibly disappointed. Drop boxes are a common sense solution. Um, they're used by voters across the state. You know, they're 600 pounds, they're bolted to the ground, they have 24 seven surveillance. They're fire and bomb proof and emptied by members of two different political parties. Ballot drop boxes are now required to have signs posted on them, warning voters against dropping off somebody else's ballot. Secretary LaRose has also suggested to top Republicans in the legislature to eliminate drop boxes altogether. Tony.